Stanford Cancer Institute has been a leader in the world in cancer treatment and discovery and application. It's one of the main places where advances are made in the academic sphere and translated quickly to the clinics for the benefit of patients. The immune system is now a standard way of treating cancer and we're looking for combinations of ways of talking to the immune system. We knew that in the tumor there are immune cells. We know that they can recognize and kill the tumor if we get them activated and expanded. If we can accomplish this inside the body, so-called in situ vaccination, right into the tumor where the T cells are, and we can stimulate them and expand them and get them to move throughout the body, we might have a therapy that could be off the shelf and ready to go. T cells have a variety of molecules that they dial up on their surface when they're activated. And among these is one called OX40, OX40. And an antibody against this target, OX40, can stimulate T cells have become activated, and then we use an antibody against the OX40 to make the T cells go throughout the body and kill cancer. The anti-OX40 antibody can trigger a very potent T cell immune response that goes throughout the body and cures the tumors. And this works not only in lymphoma, but also in breast cancer, colon cancer, and melanoma, every model that we've tested. So now we're taking this into the clinic and testing it in people. We have two paradigm-changing approaches to treating cancer. One is to go after the Achilles heel of the cancer cell, the signals that make the cancer cell divide and multiply. And in addition, now we have therapies that can stimulate the immune system of the body to fight cancer. So both targeting the host to get the immune system going and targeting the cancer cells themselves. And I think the future is going to be combinations of these two approaches.